Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome to my Saturday weekend vlog. In today's video, I'm just going to share with you guys just some work that I did around the house. Got the kids to do all their chores. Did a whole bunch of laundry. Got all the floors mopped. Ceiling fans clean. Windows clean. And I made a nice spinach and cheese including chicken lasagna and I'm going to share that recipe with all of you guys too so stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay to stay up to date with all my videos now what I did Friday night was make these amazing veggie burgers and I didn't make these myself they were store-bought but they were so good um, these were some cheese that I was going to put on top of them I made some tater tots and french fries to go on the side with it and once the veggie burgers were done I just baked all of them um, the burgers and the fries once they were done I topped them with cheese and then I had my buns I got some potato buns and I just put some ketchup mayonnaise mustard on top of those had the patties inside and they were so soft and so good I usually never liked these but I don't know recently they've just become an addiction I really really enjoy eating them then we had some chocolate cake that I made during the day and my dad sent us some patisa from Pakistan this was my all-time favorite in Pakistan so we had that for a dessert afterwards Can I do it? You just don't want to do it. And I'm really busy from now. Yeah, I want to do it. Yeah, I want to do it. I'm just doing one. I got one. Put him in here. Put him in here. Did you clean the jar up good? Oh. Let's just do this. Get the old cookie crumbs out. Clean it with a napkin. Thank you. Now try to stack them up as neat as you can so you can eat these nice in the morning. Okay? Mm. Otherwise, they're gonna get soft because then they're not gonna taste it. Guys, look at how much. Guys, look at it. I just put this much in. Look at how much I have left. This much. Does this look okay? Yeah, it looks awesome. Here, how should I do it? Here, put it. Let's pour the pita canada juice. Let's handle it. Good job. Show them that if we go dress this far. Good job. Thank you, Anas. After Anas was done with his part of chores, it was time for the other boys to start doing theirs. Um, before I went ahead and got started with them, I had put some water to boil for this lasagna that I was going to make. Once the water did come to a boil, I added some salt, a teaspoon of oil, and I went ahead and put in one box of my lasagna sheets. Even though they say they're ready, oven ready lasagna sheets, I never make them like that. I boil them and let them get real nice and soft. After I was done with that and that was cooking, I went ahead and took out my carpet the day before because I wanted to um, wash it with a carpet cleaning machine that I have in the back. So I went ahead and with the help of the boys took that out 
and I went ahead and vacuumed it and I was going to get ready to start shampooing it down but instead what I did was just take off some major like big big stains and stuff and I thought I would do that later or on Sunday. So I didn't end up finishing that but I did want to get all the floors mopped and ready. So once I am done with that and it dries out then what I can do is just put it down and the floors will be all clean. So in the mop for my son all I did was add some um, some of the palm olive um, detergent and what I did was add some hardwood floor cleaner in there, a little bit the kind that has the shine in there. It's time for lunch. I'm going to start cooking the chicken for the lasagna. I've chopped up a big red onion and what I'm going to do is add that to a little bit of oil, add a little bit of ginger and garlic paste and I'm going to add some tomatoes, green chilies and turmeric, red chili pepper, cumin powder and salt guys. I'll have all the ingredients in the list down below and I've shared a lasagna video with you guys before so do check that out as well. I'll leave it down below for you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up and my lasagna sheets did boil. I strained them and put them to the side. So I'm going to fry this up for a while, let it cook for about six to eight minutes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken in it, let this cook for about 10 minutes. And right after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one can of tomato sauce or tomato puree to give it that nice flavor. So just let that cook. I'm going to cover it with the lid. And in the meantime, I'm going to open up all my cans for my tomato sauce um, that I'm going to go ahead and make to go with the lasagna. Now my battery is going to run out here in a few minutes, so I'm not going to be able to share that part with you guys, friends. But it's just all the sauce I put in with seasonings such as onion powder, garlic powder, cumin powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, parsley flakes, and you're all good. I'm going to just let that boil on the stove for about 15 minutes. And I'm going to leave the link down below for you guys on my last video that I shared of lasagna. So do check that out, friends. 
And this is the spinach that I'm going to use in my lasagna. It's just the canned kind. I'm going to take all the water out and then I'm going to chop it up. So I just wanted to show you guys this. In the meantime, the chicken's cooking really nice. Once it, once you see it start releasing the oil, um, you should know that you're on track and your chicken is cooking up perfectly. It should have the sauce in it. And then we are going to be ready to put in our spinach. So I just put it down, cut it up on the chopping board like this since it's already pre-boiled. And you guys can definitely skip this part out, but I was just missing a nice hearty chicken and spinach lasagna with the, you know, with the cheese, of course. And you guys can put all other kind of toppings on top. So now our chicken is ready and we are ready to add in the spinach. My sauce is cooking on the other side. It's bubbling up. And while the chicken was cooking, the sauce was cooking. Once this was done, the sauce was done as well. And we were ready to go ahead and make our lasagna. So this is how good it should look once the spinach is in there. And once you see it dry up and start releasing the oil, then know that it's done. Now I have all my stuff prepared here, the chicken and spinach, my sauce, the lasagna sheets, and I got a nice pan. And I have my cheese. I'm using mozzarella and cheddar cheese. The mozzarella is from Costco and cheddar is, I think, from Walmart. So it's really, really stringy and cheesy and good. Now it's time to prepare the lasagna. So guys, the lasagna is all done. It's 2.15. We wanted to serve lunch at 3 and now it's time for namaz. So I had the kids pray their namaz and after that I quickly prayed mine and then it was ready to bake the lasagna. I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. This baked for about 30 to 35 minutes. See how bubbly and yummy it's looking guys. I managed to make one on the side, a cheesy one for the kids. And now my sister's making some kebabs out here. She's using my recipe. And guys, these kebabs are so good. They're made out of beef. 
and they are amazing i have to leave the recipe link down below for you guys so don't forget to check it out because i shared this exact recipe on my channel before and it was very cold outside but when you have yummy yummy food like this to go with it you know you don't mind So the lasagna was in the oven. We were making the kebabs on the side. My other sister made some chicken biryani and she used my recipe as well. So I'll leave that recipe link down below for you guys as well. You guys must check it out. And she's quite a perfectionist at it now, mashallah. It turned out really, really good. Swalik was having a lot of fun down there while we were up here cooking. And here is the biryani, perfect dam. And this is not sela rice, it's basmati. So of course this was a delicious light texture biryani and it was so, so good. She also added some potatoes and it was made in boneless chicken. I had to taste some and inspect it and let her know if it passed or failed <laughs> and it was so good guys. how we serve it and the lasagna was all done at this time the kebabs were ready so what we did is gave the boys the lunch up on the table and us ladies we all sat on the floor and enjoyed it comfortably <laughs> so I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog with me we had a nice salad to go on the side the lemons to go with the kebabs and of course the lasagna and like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um, vlog and I hope that you guys will benefit from the recipe and all these recipes guys will be down below for you guys to check out, to make, to enjoy with your loved ones and inshallah I pray you guys will like this video and if you guys do friends, please share it with a friend, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for all the lovely response that I've been getting from you guys on my latest videos. So Jazakallah khair for that and here was the lasagna all done ready to serve out. Now this was my plate as you guys can see. I have my salad, nice portion of the biryani, my two kebabs on the side and there was my piece of lasagna. So definitely give this a try. I know you guys are going to love it and thank me later. So take care guys. Love you all. Allah Hafiz.